Okay, carrying on from the last video, I got to the point where I've got uh, treasury bond sales of the private banks, but I don't have purchases of bonds from the private banks by the central bank. And of course, that's a, what they're known as open market operations and a, a major feature of the current monetary system. So let's put them in there. I open up the godly table for the banking sector, add an additional row, and call this central bank purchase, bond purchases. And of course, the central bank is going to purchase bonds and the monetary value of the bonds that are held by the banks have to fall. So I'm going to have a minus uh, bond subscript sale. And this is a sale by the banks to the central bank. Now, what does that sale do from the point of view of the banking sector? Well, it increases the reserves they've got. So let's now show that. So there's going to be a positive entry here, equivalent to the negative entry in the other direction, bonds to the central bank. So that row is now balanced and you can see it's made changes to the uh, situation for the central bank over here. So we need to bring up the central bank's table and where, where does that actually go? Well of course if the central bank has bought bonds and it now has bonds as an asset. So we now know need to show bonds owned by the central bank over here. And then I simply copy that. Now this is actually a feature that I haven't yet shown. I can copy that uh, and simply paste it without needing to retype. So paste it back in there again. That's now complete. And what does it do to the Treasury? We can see now this is now turning up on the Treasury's account. Well, the Treasury has just opened up. Uh, now that the central bank has bonds as well as the private banks, there's an additional liability for the, central, for the uh, Treasury. So I bring that across and bang, we've completed the whole thing. Pretty fast, eh? Next to the next stage, I'll start looking at what would happen if rather than having to buy through the private banks, as is currently required by law, uh, it's not required by the laws of accounting. And one of my favorite expresses by uh, Elon Musk is that uh, the laws of physics are the only real laws, everything else is a recommendation. It also happens that in the area of accounting, the laws of double entry bookkeeping are the only laws, everything else is a recommendation. What would happen if we remove the recommendation from the legal system that the central bank cannot buy bonds from the treasury? What if it simply bought them directly from uh, the treasury rather than through the, the secondary market? Is that possible according to the laws of accounting? Let's find out in the next video.